What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video and this is a type of video that I haven't done in a long time but I really really just absolutely have to do this video uh, and the reason that this came about is because the other day, I think it was Christmas Eve or something, I was on Twitter and somebody retweeted a tweet from Mark Thomas and if you don't know who that is, uh, he's one of those kids who got famous on Musical.ly for pretending to sing and take a shirt off even though he's like 12 and um, he basically was like, hey, you know, go support this new music video that I was in and I was like, holy shit, I bet you it's garbage so I clicked on it and I regret it immediately and I start watching and I just could not believe how fucking corny this video was like I was blown I was like whoever wrote this song because clearly it's not the kids who wrote it whoever wrote it literally just wants to make the cheesiest corniest garbage that they possibly can and hope that people like me will get infuriated and make a video about it like this one I've fallen for the trap, I admit it, I don't care, and uh, and that'll give them exposure, and, you know, I guess it's working, I don't know, but either way, the video's fucking trash, dude, and I wanted to show you guys, because it's just so hilariously bad, uh, that, that we just have to fucking laugh at them together, like, we're not, wa we're not laughing with you, okay, we're laughing directly fucking at you, so, let's just go right ahead and watch this video, uh, and, and let's just, let's just see the, the, the atrocity that is, um, be My Boy by Leah Goldstein featuring Mark Thomas. Looks like a fun amusement park. Oh no. Why is she standing like that? She's just like... Oh, there he is. There's Mark. Oh, he's, he's sitting right there. He's a fucking genie. I'm gonna just stop you right there. What the fuck, dude? I want your picture on my timeline and I seem to follow you everywhere. This is like, this is the pinnacle of like 2016 middle school romance. Like this is, this is the most shallow garbage. Like, I like this person, so I'm gonna follow them on social media. Like, oh my fucking God, just speak with your fucking voice. Just talk to them in person like a human being. Don't like, oh my god, I can't even relate, I don't even know what it's like to be in middle school at this point anymore, I'm just too old, I'm 22, I'm not that old, but I just, I feel so disconnected from whatever their lives must be like, I just, I, I don't know. Is that seen as, like, romantic? I turn my notifs on for you? Oh my god, you just said notifs, just say notifications, it's a real fucking word, oh my god. So that's like, is, is that like in 2016, like popping the question, like, hey girl, hey, hey yo, you know, I think I like you. We've been, we've been going pretty serious now for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you think you can, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn, if you turn my notifs on, I'll, I'll turn your notifs on, you know what I'm saying? I'll do it, I'll do it for Twitter and Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, and then she's just like, oh my god, texts Karen, oh my god, my, Mark just asked me to turn on his notifs and, and he'll, t and he'll turn on my notifica notifications on too. We're fucked. We're fucked. I'll give you all I have to be your girl. Bitch, you're like 13, what do you have? You have like $20 in your wallet that your parents gave you to play these games on the boardwalk. Like you're gonna make this ultimate sacrifice just to be with him, like what? No, go to school, get good grades, support yourself. Are you fucking serious? This is literally like, I can't believe how corny this is. Like I literally just don't understand. Like, is this really what people are into when they're in like sixth grade? Cause I, I feel like this, this has to be Go, like aimed at sixth graders i i don't i can't imagine like a scenario where like someone my age or someone who even someone who's 18 sees this and is like oh my god that's so cute like i double tap his pictures too oh my god that's clearly a fucking instagram reference that's been just shoved into pop culture mainstream where the term double tap is now like 
something you associate with what you do to cute guys like all right so let's see all that she'll give up to be his girl or whatever the fuck Oh, was that giant Hershey kiss all that she had? She'd give anything for his love, and look, she did it. She proved it. She gave him a giant fake Hershey's kiss. That's so adorable. I just love how they just, like, barely tried to act in this. Like, they just did not give a fuck. They were just like, oh, okay, we're gonna, you know, like, she already made the music, like, she already made the song, and she's like, oh, you know, it's gonna go viral anyway. Who gives a fuck what I do in the video? Like, <laughs> You know what I will say though? The instrumental, like the beat in the background, like that's like decent. You know, like that's a decent, decent beat. I feel like if you gave that beat to someone who maybe who could like rap or something, they could spit some fucking flames over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a little bit quirky, a little bit bubbly, but I feel like if you gave it to the right MC, they could really make something work there. Uh, but instead, we have two pre teenage, you know, uh, Aryan race motherfuckers in a, in a, in a, in a candy store in the, on the Jersey Shore boardwalk. Uh, fucking acting like garbage, like their acting is complete shit. Uh, she's not even trying to really sing the song, like you can tell she's not even like, she's lip syncing, but it, it's, it doesn't, I'm not convinced, you know? Uh, and, and just Mark over here, all he's done is kind of like smile and look off camera and just like look good. That's like here he's trying to look good or whatever. Uh, and, and, and it's a waste of a beat really is what it is. Mark, you just kissed her on the cheek. Holy fuck, you just double tapped her cheek with your mouth. Holy shit, you guys are basically married now, right? Like in 2016, that's what that means. Like, cause you know, I mean, if 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 it being official is turning notice on, then like actual human interaction, that must be like fucking holy fuck, you're gonna start a family soon. Jesus Christ, Mark. That was big right there. That was a big deal, bud. Good job. What kind of line was that? I watched the sun set. It didn't rhyme with the last fucking verse. There was a long ass awkward pause before it, and now there's another long ass fucking awkward pause after it. Like, who wrote this shit, man? You didn't even try. You didn't even try with that line. And also, it's not even sunny when you recorded this. There was no shots that showed like the sunset or anything. Like, there's literally you. You didn't try with this entire video. You did not. You did not try. The only thing that that you got going for you, right, is that the beat is decent, and these two social media fuckers have a, a small following on the internet, and and you know that it's gonna do well just because they made it. You know what would do even better is if you actually made a good fucking song and then gave it to someone with a social media following, and then people like me who just doubted it and clicked on it and was like, holy fuck, this song is fucking tight, then I would like it too. And then you appease everybody. No, but no, you're lazy. You, you're just trying to cash out. I get it. I get it. It's business. You don't expect Mark Thomas to be fucking alive in two years from like a drug overdose. I get it, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this is garbage. Complete shit. Let's just see how, how it ends or whatever. We got a lot more time left. I heard you're here. I'm trying to find you. Bitch, he's right there. Good job on carrying her on your back, Mark. Good job. You guys look like you weigh the same amount, so that was pretty cool. Dude, you missed your mouth. Idiot. <clears throat> you see that? She just like, she just looked at the camera and was like, and I'll be your girl. Like, she didn't even try. She didn't even try to make it look like she was singing. Bitch, what? Oh, they're holding hands, though. 
They're holding hands though, so they're official. They're together. And that's it. That's the whole video. When will it end? That's what I really want to know. When will this trend of complete garbage social media stars coming up out of nowhere, you know, when is that going to end? When, when are we going to have some substance in our culture again? I just, it bothers me. And this video has like, at the time of making this, has over 100,000 views. Uh, and it's only been up for, you know, not that long. I mean, let's see, it went up on December 15th. So we, it's been up for like 15 days now and it's got 140,000 views. Um, and it's got 4,000 likes, 2,000 dislikes. And look, I know that this is not for me. Like, the demographic for this video is, like I said, 6th graders, 5th graders even, maybe. Maybe even younger. Who knows? Um, but the problem that I have with this, is right, is you have people with actual talent. People who actually can make good music. They can sing. They can rap. They can play the guitar. They can play the drums. They can, you know, have all this musical talent. Uh, but they'll never be anything in the world because maybe they don't look attractive or, you know, they just don't know the right people and they, they can't get a following uh, despite actually having talent. So, you know, you have people like this where they didn't write the song, they didn't make the beat, they didn't do anything, right? They just put, they probably just have, you know, uh, rich parents or something. I'm not sure what their actual situation is. So, you know, I'm not going to say that they do for sure, but, you know, um, it's a lot easier if you ha if you're 14 and you have a musically and you have rich parents who can have you know a marketing budget or they can pay for someone to make you a good beat like that uh, and you know then they get uh, 150 thousand views in two weeks or whatever you know and this might be I don't know how many songs she's released let's see if we can find out really quick here on her um, on her YouTube account she only has a 2200 um, okay so this is her first video right so th that's what I mean you know her first video ever gets 150,000 views on YouTube in two weeks. So that's what I'm saying. You know, people like this, where the song is trash, the music video is trash, the singing is trash, nothing about this is good besides the social media following, and they only have that because they are, you know, young preteens who others think are attractive. You know, maybe there's 12-year-old girls who see Leah Goldstein or whatever the fuck, and they're like, oh, she's so, I like how she does her hair, I like how she, whatever, you know, so that's like the only reason that they have a following, because that and plus they were on Musical.ly and made fucking famous Musical.ly, I don't know. But, so the problem that I have, right, is like I'm saying, you know, this obviously isn't for my demographic, clearly I'm just way outside the demographic for this video, but uh, th th I still have a problem with it because, you know, we have people with actual talent that go unnoticed because of garbage like this just gets pushed into the mainstream with, you know, just financially backing it and then it does well enough to where the trend continues uh, and we never get real substance or real music or real talent out of these people. It's just this one hit wonder garbage uh, and we're not going to hear of Leah Goldstein in two years, most likely. Anyway, I thought that was like the cringiest fucking music video ever and I just wanted to bring it to you guys. You can let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Uh, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. The I don't know if you can tell, but <clears throat> I'm actually getting over a cold. So, after I uploaded my last video, then there was a few days of me doing holiday shopping and gift wrapping and all that shit, and then Christmas came, and then the, like, the Christmas night, like, on the 25th, I got sick, uh, and I was sick the 26th and the 27th, and today's the 28th, I'm recording this, and I'm still getting over it, so I know that I said videos would, would like, come back once finals were over, and I totally tried to, but there was just no way for me to do it, and then once I got time, I got sick, so that's just uh, the way the fucking cookie crumbles but anyway so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys appreciate that i am still getting over this cold and i wanted to make this video for you anyway and if you did make sure you smack that like button i would really 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 appreciate that and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one again comment down below telling me what you thought of this incredibly good music video uh and that's pretty much it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been on me and i will talk to you guys again soon peace